Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mankesh, and uh, in this video, we will cover some more basic commands of Unix. I will start with the zip, zip and unzip in Unix. So, look at here, there are some commands on the screen. We can see gzip, g unzip, bzip2, bunzip2. So, jzip command used to zip the single file. A uh, single file will give the single output. It's not like that multiple file you can combine under one file. So that we are usually doing in WinRAR and WinZip in uh, Windows. But uh, in Unix, we have a different different command for that. Like tar command will come in the picture later. And ZIP zip command will also come in the picture later. So let's learn what is a gzip command and what is a g unzip. Now, uh, in my current directory, that is, uh, I am in home Mangesh Ramesh directory. And I have some files. Uh, you can see the size of files here, practical.log. This is what log uh, txt file has very less size because if you have an empty file and if you're going to zip it, let me try that one, two, three dot txt. This is already zero byte file one, two, three dot txt. And if you're going to zip that file, then obviously uh, you will get the different output. Like see, previously that file size was only zero, but after zipping it become a 28 by blocks. So. We can only zip those files which size is very large. So not a good logic that size has only zero bytes and you are trying to zip it. So I will show you how to zip the files and which si here we have a practical dot log uh, which size is showing 31,000 blocks. And uh, there is a one more log file is there. Uh, size is showing 11,000 blocks. Uh, let's try and perform that gzip operation over here. And re let me remove this one, two, three log. I removed it. And uh, gzip practical dot log ls minus lrt. Now see that size is reduced up to uh, less uh, 10k. So it is a 10k blocks size we can see. Now uh, not a chance that we can uh, open this file because this is a zip file. You need to unzip this file and then you can uh, able to view it because cat command used to view the file, but this is a zip file where uh, this will not work and uh, you'll uh, see what kind of output you're getting this is an invalid output actually so what we will do is we will unzip this file first and later we will open it so same file g unzip practical dot gz now we have successfully unzipped that file and now we can use cat command to open it and see the output we can easily read it now this is what the output under that file so what I have done is uh, I have created some files actually and uh, those files I'm trying to zip it. So uh, you must be aware, aware about that man command, uh, man cal. This will print the cal page. So what I have done is man cal, uh, I have used pipe output of this command use input the second one and through cat command cal.txt. So output of this, it will get stored here. And uh, look at that cal.txt size. It's a 5500. So let me zip that uh, cal command ls minus lrt. So cal command file will replace over here. Now that file is not present. Instead of that file, zip file is here. And with the help of cat command, if I'm going to uh, open it, this is an invalid output again. So just why because this is zip file. Now let me try with uh, unzip g unzip and that uh, cal dot t dot txt. Look at here. That file is back. Now I can open that file like this, and I can easily see the text under that file. So g zip command used to zip the file, and uh, let me uh, zip all those files with the help of g zip. G zip. Uh, let me put star see what happens uh, it has zip all those files but uh, through gzip you cannot zip the directory huh? it used to zip the files only and uh, look at the size now this size is very less as a reason uh, instead of 24 it is updated 43 blocks instead of 30 blocks it is updated 53 just, I, just a basic logic that if your file size is very large then and then only zip command you can use to reduce that size 
uh, operation successful, successfully perform on these files where size is already reduced and uh, same way you can use g unzip to unzip all those files single file will come with the single output let's see uh, the way we have a gzip command which used to zip the files uh, you can see zip single file also you can zip multiple files also and that is your logic like i want to zip all text files then i will give star.txt i want to zip all those log files then i will give star.log uh, similar we have a bzip2 command to zip the files uh, in uh, industry i have used only this command to zip the files but uh, we will see a practice session of bzip2 also uh, uh, bzip2 my file name is a cal.txt practical.log and 2022 that all those three files i have zipped with the help of bz now if you zip the files with gzip the extension would be gz and if you zip the files with bzip2 the extension would be bz2 and uh, bzip2 we unzip2 because i want to unzip all those files again which i have zipped it so see practical cal ls manager lrt look at this size it was reduced one now it is the actual one okay so this is what the practice uh, of uh, bz command and uh, gzip uh, you can see the difference only the syntax and commands are different extension is getting different and there might be some challenges in size that you can notice uh, while doing the practice between these two commands so after that uh, i would like to go for the archival but before archival i would like to complete G this this command first zip and unzip single file will uh, come with a single output but what if i want to zip all those files uh, under one one output file like uh, i have a one two three dot p zip file under this file i need, i want to keep all those so that time zip command will come in the picture so zip command how to use it this is what the zip command uh, then you need to give output this is your output file name and which files you need to zip i want to zip all star.log so star dot log i want to zip all text file also star dot txt or you can give the file name also star means all log files star means all text files i'm taking and i'm zipping it okay now it is saying me that the sir zip command is not there in your laptop so i need to install that zip command uh, first and later i would be able to uh, do the practice of it uh, let's go ahead and uh, install it uh, for this, I will go and log in with the root user, sudo uh, switch user root. But it will take some time because it will download some packages from Google. Uh, then and then only it would be installed. It will take some time. Uh, install zip. Let's see. Uh, yes, it started downloading. So let this package get installed. Uh, I'm pausing this video for uh, for a moment, and I'll come back soon. Okay, guys, I'm back again, and uh, zip command I have installed successfully on my Ubuntu terminal. This is what the zip command. These are the option we have under zip command. Uh, I have logged in with the root user, and then I have logged out. So this command uh, app install zip this command uh, we have used to install the zip command in this laptop through root user so uh, ls minus lrt i'm doing here and i want to zip all those files under one so see the syntax how i'm using zip a b c b this is what my output file and under this file i want to keep all those files one dot txt uh, i can give the name also two dot txt then all star.log file okay, and cal.txt also you can this is the input files and it will get zip under this so let me execute and uh, this file successfully zipped under abc.zip 
now you can easily remove all those files first because you already have backup over here so you can do it so let me remove all those next file and i'm removing all those log file as well see ls one is lot i have only zip okay now i want uh, i want to open this one.txt but i i would not able to because that file is already zip so let's unzip that file from abc dot if unzip abc dot zip it will unzip all files but i want only one dot txt so only this file came out cat one dot txt you can open it easily okay uh unzip all abc dot zip so it will unzip all files uh it is asking me can i replace abc dot zip i will say yes because we already uh unzip this in this command no? previously so ls minus lrt look at here all files are unzipped so zip and unzip command you can easily use to zip the files unzip command you can use to unzip the files uh let me remove this rm abc okay suppose i want to create zip file but not in the same file system i want to create it under uh, another file system home uh, ramesh i have ramesh user also and there i need to create the output file that is abc dot zip and i want to zip all those files from the current directory so i can put star also or i can give this path as well because home mangesh and ramesh is here and under ramesh whatever files are there all will get zip now uh, it is giving the permission error because ramesh is another uh, uh, user no that's the reason let me try with sudo i have used sudo but again it is it is giving some some issues uh, tty is not present so let me uh, again star not log what happened it is not giving permission so let me change this directory actually then and then only i would be able to uh, zip all those files so ls minus lrt what i need to do is all these files i want to zip but the output i don't want to save in the current directory i want to save the output in another directory so what i am doing zip home uh, mangesh there is a mayang directory also okay and here i want to create abc.zip and uh, i am taking all files from the current folder that's the reason i have put all star ls minus lrt zip is already got created but where not here you can see in this directory ls minus lrt home mangesh and mayang see that zip file is here okay and uh, you already taken the backup so ls minus lrt i am removing all text file raw.txt i i am removing everything from the here uh, everything i have removed from the ramesh directory nothing is here because all backup i have already taken in abc.zip and that abc.zip is here in another directory now i want to unzip all those things over here so command would be or you can go there cd o mangesh i am there in my young folder now ls minus lrt this file i can see here unzip abc.zip but where not here under home directory then mangesh directory then ramesh unzipped okay uh it is showing that file in file name is not matched let's see what is the output i am getting home mangesh ramesh mm, it's not unzipped let let me try unzip abc dot zip everything is zip okay so i am able to unzip over here but uh, why it is not unzipping in that directory unzip abc i am giving that path actually home mangesh under mangesh i have a ramesh directory and here i want to unzip it file name is not matched is saying so, let me zip unzip in another directory then uh, 
uh, we have a uh, salman and that salman directory under mayank right so let's try it in that salman directory again i name not match that error i'm getting okay so what i will do is uh, if i want to unzip that file in let me go to that directory where i want to unzip it actually so home uh, then mangesh then ramesh here i don't have anything see and i want to unzip that file here so i will use command like this home uh, mangesh uh, that file is there under mayank and abc dot zip so automatically it will unzip over here let's minus a lot see all files are and zip command used to zip the directories as well because gzip and bzip2 will not work on this but zip uh, uh, zip command with the help of zip you can zip the directories as well so this is what practice you need to perform on your laptop to learn zip and unzip command as well uh, i am going to create one more uh, separate video for archival uh, tar command and uh, for that video please watch my next next video uh, thanks for watching this video see you again in the next video